We just put a new spin on the old front porch welcome sign. We have some Halloween gnomes. We used three pickets, some MDF, and our Glowforge. We'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a build it or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. Uh, this week, fall is in full effect. That means Halloween is right around the corner. So we gotta start decorating. Yep, we need some new front porch decor. And we have a great idea for a new front porch leaner. We're gonna use our pickets, but not just two pickets. We're gonna use three, three pickets. We're going three deep. I said three pickets. Three. <laughs> Using all three of them. <laughs> and we're gonna add a new kit to these things. We're gonna keep going with that gnome theme that's so popular right now. And we're gonna make ourselves some Halloween gnomes. Ooh, we're gonna dress them up. Like yeah. little tiny trick-or-treaters. Yes. You're going to love this. It's going to be super cute. I look forward to making it and seeing how it turns out. I mean, that's about the only time those bite-sized candies make sense, is if you're giving it to a gnome. Step one, we're going to gather all of our supplies. We needed three pickets. They're six foot long, five and a half inches wide. We needed MDF. We're using quarter-inch MDF. We needed some country chic paint. We need a glues. We have some medium star bond, and we're also gonna try some uh, Gorilla Hot Glue. They say it's gonna work. And the SVG that we've used for this project and the unfinished kit will be in our store if you wanna follow along and make this yourself. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna cut all three of these pickets in half. We're just gonna cut them all in half. With pocket saw. It's coming out. He doesn't know if he can do it. Things are a little long. I told him we could flip it. The old flip trick. Safety first. Now I'm going to take the quarter inch MDF over to the Glowforge and we're going to cut out our SVG. In Glowforge, I'm just going to create, upload from file. Pick our gnome file. It's gonna process for a minute. Bam! Let's shrink this, this is too big. It's hard to see. All right, let's set our material. We're using quarter inch MDF, so I'm gonna use a thick draft board. Let's make this one score. We'll just do draft. Cut and cut. Let's line this up a little better. Let's start with this dude's beard and hat. And print. Step three. Now we paint. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna paint all of our little gnome pieces first. All their little hats with all the little cutouts. Everything is getting painted first. Then we'll do the pickets next. All right, let's start. There's a lot of pieces here. Which one do you want to start with? I know you really like the mummy. You want to do the mummy? Yeah, I'll start with the mummy. All right. Give me my mummy. And I'll start with the witch. And for the witch, I'm going to be using this new uh, opulence, this purple from Country Chic. I'm really excited to use that on here. And then I'll be using licorice and simplicity. And then, you know what? I want a little green right there. I think I'm gonna give the mummy the vanilla frosting, oh, just to give okay. it that little yellowing. He's not a fresh mummy. He's an old mummy. All right, all right, let's do it. Now for my green, I just chose a rustic charm to add that little green. To do my beards, first I put a coat of black on there, and then I come in with a lot of this white, this simplicity. Just goop it up on there. Get the edges, maybe not over the edge. I'll put a pretty thick coat on there. What's the purpose of that? I'm gonna show you in a second. I'm gonna show you how to make it look like there's bristles in his beard. Got a bristly beard. Well, you're gonna show me individual hairs. Individual hairs. He will look like he's really wearing a beard. All right, 
pretty good. He's pretty covered. All right, looking pretty covered. Looking pretty good. Take off some excess. There you go, look at that. Halfway there, halfway, Kim. Now I'm gonna get all of the paint off of my brush. Try to get it all off. I'll even come over here, run around a bit. Get it off, get, it, get all the paint off. It's kind of dry. I'm gonna hold the brush like this, try to make those bristles tight. I'm gonna drag it down, trying to scrape some of that paint back off now. But he's got a mustache, so I'll zoom this way. This way. That way. Get some of this paint off. Zoom down. Get a zoom that way. I'll come back for a stash. Little mustache. Bam! There's my realistic beard. Look at that. Look at that realisticness. I like his stash. To make sure the paint doesn't ooze, I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun. And he's a bearded. It's like a beard. Now it's time to paint the pickets. Paint the pickets. We're gonna do two in black, licorice, two in white, simplicity, and one in orange, which is our persimmon. I'll be whitewashing mine, just like Huck Finn. I'll trick Kim into doing it for me here in a minute. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Step four. Now we're gonna assemble it. We're gonna bring it all together with some of this Gorilla Hot Glue. We're gonna see if this stuff is as incredibly strong as it claims to be. <laughs> Let's see if it holds up over the adjusting temperatures over the next month. Oh yeah, it's a good one. We're gonna start by putting all of our pickets together. We're just gonna kind of line them up, space them out. And we're doing this because the hats, there's spacing that kind of goes from middle section up. So we're gonna go ahead and put the pickets together and that way we'll ensure we've got the correct spacing. Mm. So we're placing our orange board directly center across the black and white boards. And there's a four and a half inch gap between each picket. It says, it says 45 seconds and that's it, it's down. So we'll see. All right, well, we'll be working with it here and we'll see if it pops off. Dude, I feel like I'm playing a giant piano. <laughs> Should we be safe in here with a, a brad? All right, we chickened out. We were just gonna leave it with the Gorilla Glue, <laughs> but I'm a little scared. So we're gonna hit it with a one and a quarter inch brad. The nail, not the guy. All right, that makes me feel a little better. Ugh. I'm gonna flip it around so you can start with them upside down like this. What, do you think? Uh, what? I didn't paint the backs of mine. Oh, you didn't? I was supposed to. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> Look at that. Somebody didn't paint the backs. <laughs> somebody who gives somebody else a lot of guff. I do. For not painting the backs. I do, I do. I give Did them a hard time for not painting the backs. All well, right. You were a fast painter. So fast. Okay. All right, ready to start putting the gnomes together? Put yes. them on the boards. Let's yes. lay them out where they go. Yes, let's let's dry fit everything. All right, ready to 
to start gluing. I'm ready. Should I get their hats on first? We might have to put a yes. tack in their hats. Yes. Tack in the hat, tack in the hat. I like a gnome with a tack in the hat. Oh, good. Tack in the hat, tack in the hat. I like a gnome with a tack in the hat. We're gonna use a three quarter inch brad. No, right, don't go crazy, cause you, that's when it gets. I'm hot glue crazy. Other way. That's enough, that's enough, that's too much. It's got a giant puddle of blue. Here, get old Brad out. Why? We don't eat Brad. This is, that's the whole point of doing this, is we want to test this glue. I mean, it's not the whole point. I mean, that's all right. It's, it's right on the edge. This guy's very tippy-toppy. All right, you can, you can... All right, put a brad in here. No, 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 put a brad in there. <laughs> pulling the trick-or-treaters oh uh, yeah I it so. is so cute yeah I like it I think I'm gonna break this little uh, this little spider off before it actually gets out to the porch yeah I told you that little guy was teetering yeah but I just thought I'd gamble and roll the dice <laughs> just like we're rolling the dice with this uh, gorilla glue this gorilla hot glue yeah let's see what happens we will let you works. know if, if we have no news, it's good news. If it doesn't stay, we're going to let you know. We're probably going to hit this with some clear coat just over the MDF pieces because we're going to put it towards the outside of our rail, right? Yes. So yeah. we have a covered porch and I didn't want to leave it up under there because I love it so much. So I'm going to sit it. There's a handrail there. I'm going to zip tie it to the handrail. Uh, so it's going to be out in the weather a little bit. It should be fine. We've had a lot of our signs out in the weather just yeah. testing to see how they do. This MDF holds up pretty well. So I think it'll do okay, at least for yeah. the season. Um, give it a light coat. Nothing heavy. Quick little light coat. Yeah, I think this is great and you guys can make this too. So we're going to offer this kit in our store. It's going to be like a mega kit because there's, mega a lot, kit. there's a lot of pieces to it. All you would have to do is buy these pickets and then again, your home improvement store will cut them in half for you. And then there you go. There you go. Oh, look at that. All right. Well, we're about out of time. So if you're not joining us for the patron after show, Last week's was a good one. We will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And, uh, No. Nope. You want me to do it now or outside? On oh, some other day. All right. Outside it is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh. So, so Kim was like, I'm going to carry the picket thing down the stairs so it'll be safe. You guys want to see something? Look, look, she already killed, she already killed that little spider that I put there. The spider didn't even make it out of the, the spider didn't even make it out of the craft room. I, I have to keep moving, it's heavy. <laughs> oh my gosh, you tricked me. I didn't know you were going to do that. Yes.